So I have some really awesome news. We just bought our dream house. Sometimes in life you have to take some pretty big risk and this is definitely one of those times. Katie and I are putting our life savings on the line to buy our 4,000 square foot, half million dollar dream home here in the suburbs, but this thing needs tons of work. So is this a mini mansion or a money pit? And this is all happening while some other pretty huge life moments are happening as well. I've got some really exciting news. Katie and I got engaged a few months back and we're getting married in a matter of days. I'm also about 18 months away from retiring from a full-time day job, but it's a job that no longer has me excited to show up to work. What does keep me excited is building things and making these videos, but I essentially have two full-time jobs. But actually I have three full-time jobs because I just started a new business here in Oklahoma City where we're gonna be selling live edge slabs. The business is called the Slabatory, and we just got this massive 9,000 square foot warehouse. But getting back to the house, this truly is our absolute dream home, but it needs tons of remodeling, and we've already had to deal with a host of issues. And I have to do all of this while still working that full-time day job and trying to get a new business up off the ground. This is gonna be a crazy busy and stressful time and the renovation series is gonna show you every step of the way as I go room by room remodeling this house and all the issues that I'm sure to have along the way. So make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss any of that. And without any further ado, let's go check out the house. This house has a ton of weird funky features. It was built in 1982 and one of the funkiest we have a koi pond. There's actually fish in here. They're, they're about this big, but we have koi fish. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing yet. We're actually having some issues with the pump, which I've got turned off right now so you can actually hear me talk. But with the pump coming down and the water splashing, it's actually getting up in behind the stone wall here and causing some water damage behind those windows. So let me know down in the comments below, should we keep the koi pond or should we fill it in and just plant some trees. All right, going inside, we have these crazy double doors that I'm calling the castle doors. These things are pretty cool, but they've got some weird things going on. There's some butterflies that we didn't notice when we first uh, came in here. There's this weird creature thing. I don't know what it is. I might replace them. I might not. What do you guys think I should do? All right, let's go on inside. This room is awesome. I've never had a formal dining room. Right above us is the loft. But on both of these windows, the seals are compromised. Um, the bottom one isn't too bad. It, it doesn't look great, but the top one, you can barely see out it. So at some point in the near future, we're going to have to replace both these windows. And then coming soon, I'm building a live edge glass river table. All right, let's go check out the living room. One of the things that we're looking to change with this house is it just, it feels really dark in here. We've even got all these skylights above us. There's a big skylight up in the entryway, but it just, everything feels real dark. As a matter of fact, tomorrow we've got painters coming and this whole living room and loft all the way back into the dining room, we're all gonna have that painted nice and bright white. We're gonna switch out all the can lights for some LEDs, some daylight LEDs, make it nice and bright. I've got some really awesome projects planned for this room. This whole fireplace, my vision for this fireplace is to paint the whole thing white and add a big hardwood beam mantle. Um, we've got our furniture coming, it's gonna be awesome. One of the projects that I'm really excited about in here is I'm gonna build this massive library along this wall with one of those really cool rolling library ladders. I've always wanted one of those, so we're gonna do that. Okay, coming off the living room, we've got this built-in wet bar. I'm really excited about this thing. I think what my vision is with this space is to create an art deco style bar. I'm gonna totally redo these countertops, get rid of this granite. It's broken in a couple places. The cabinets look really bad. You've got a lot of mirrors and glass. I don't know if I'm gonna rebuild these or paint them or what. And then we've got these textured walls, kind of this washed brown color. Definitely not my style, and we're gonna be replacing all of that. All right, let's go check out the sunroom. Moving from the bar over here into the sunroom, this is another one of my favorite parts of this house. You've got the other side of that massive stone fireplace, and then you've got 
all these windows. Looking out into the backyard, over the pool, over the creek. We decided this is gonna be our funky room. We've got some funky furniture coming, a green couch, some yellow chairs. We're really excited about this room. We just envision it as our place to relax, sit by the fire, and just really enjoy our time as a family in this room. Right off the kitchen, we've got this little dining area, breakfast nook, what have you. We've got those really gorgeous window treatments in here. These will be coming down soon. But I do love how we have all these windows in here. We've got some bright natural light in here. I'm gonna put that round dining table that I built a year, year and a half ago. We're gonna put that right in here. Now, as you saw out there in the formal dining room where we had the windows with the compromised seals, how many do we have, Katie? Nine. We have nine of those around the house that have to get replaced. This is one of them. One of the biggest renovation projects that we have ahead of us is this kitchen. Now, I love this kitchen. It's big, it's beautiful. It's got a lot of amazing cabinetry. I don't so much love the oak cabinetry. It's like kind of an oak with a liming wax, a white wax that gets down in the grain. Not really my style. These columns pull out and you've got storage. There's three of those. Every single one of these cabinets up here swings open, although it's kind of hard to do. I think what I'm gonna do on a lot of this stuff is maybe paint the cabinets white. I might remake the doors. My plan for the kitchen is sort of white with some reclaimed wood accents. So maybe like build a faux wood beam over these columns that can still function and pull out. One of the reoccurring themes in this house that I really like are the circular windows. We've got a really nice window here in the kitchen. You've got the sink over here. I wish it was in front of this window, but that's all right. I'm gonna be doing a lot of updating, probably getting rid of all these granite countertops, doing some sort of tile backsplash. The floors are those stone floors that carry in from the sunroom and the little dining room all the way around into the front of the house. And then we've got this oddly shaped little nook where you've got the double ovens, which is really nice to have. Over here by the fridge, we've got another one of those pull out storage deals. I think we have one on both sides, don't we? This one doesn't pull out. We've got a Sub-Zero fridge. These are really nice, although it's missing a drawer. The last house, we really didn't have a pantry. Now, we have a huge pantry. Again, the theme in here is going to be to brighten everything up, paint the cabinetry white, build some new doors, maybe get rid of the trim up here, do some other sort of countertop. I'm thinking maybe a white marble or something like that, and then get some wood accents that work well with that kind of modern rustic theme that we're gonna have in this house or mountain modern, as I like to call it, even though we're not in the mountains. It's gonna be awesome though, come on. All right, when you come out of the kitchen, you've got this hallway that takes you into the laundry room and out into the garage. And right here, we've got the guest half bathroom, or as they so cleverly put a little placard on the door, Le Pissoir. This is actually gonna be the first renovation project that I'm gonna do in this house. Let's check it out. The first thing you notice about this guest bathroom is how incredibly dark it is. You've got these really dark brown walls with this heavy texture. The toilet is black, the countertops are black. The goal with this room is gonna be just to brighten this space up, get rid of all this texture, put a new toilet, new vanity, new mirror. But like I said, this is gonna be my first renovation project in this house. So if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you see that I built a lot of furniture, but I haven't done that many renovation projects. Now I'm not a professional. I'm just learning as I go, but I'm gonna dive right in figure it out and take you guys along for the journey. Coming out of that guest bathroom, that half bath, you go straight into the laundry room. The garage is right out there. I think I'm gonna totally rebuild all the cabinets in here, do my own DIY, maybe concrete countertops in here. And then we've got one of these. Do you guys know what this is? This is an ironing board in the wall. Again, this house was built in 1982 and it shows. Okay, let's go check out the bedrooms. 
coming back across the living room past the bar area, you come into the master bedroom, and the first thing you walk into is this really lovely sitting area with these hardwood floors and these three big windows that look out over the pool deck. You step up into the bedroom. I've got some really awesome furniture projects planned for this room that I'm really excited about. The first one being a king size canopy bed that I'll do right here. Maybe some really interesting nightstands. And then a TV cabinet with a TV lift in it. We've got these really high vaulted ceilings in here. Okay, moving into the master bathroom. I'm gonna gut the whole thing, completely redo it. Redo all the cabinetry, all the countertops, get rid of all these these cabinets, every one of these is a cabinet. I don't know why you need that much space in here, but apparently you do. It's got the little um, toilet room, I guess we're calling that. I'm gonna build a new glass shower enclosure with a half wall. Get rid of this whole, I don't even know what's going on here, this tub situation. Get rid of all the tile and all the framing, get rid of this tub. What is, Katie, what is this? Can anybody tell me what the purpose of these are? I have no idea. I don't know, are they, are they growing plants in here? So we'll have a freestanding tub right here. You've got the skylight right above it. I'm really, really excited about this bathroom. It's gonna be just absolutely beautiful. We're thinking maybe hex tile on the floor. I wanna get some other renovation experience under my belt before I tackle this project, because this is gonna be a big one. All right, coming out of the master bedroom, back into the entryway, you've got the stairway that takes you up to the other bedrooms and the office. As far as the stairs themselves, I'm gonna pull up all those treads, either refinish the ones that we have or completely replace them. I'm thinking steel railings going up. Let's go upstairs. All right, coming up those stairs into the loft area, and that's gonna look out over that living room and the stone fireplace and all of that. The ceilings are really high here, 21 feet up off the ground right here. I'm gonna completely redo all this railing. We've got that wood railing with that same dark stain that you see all over the house. I think what I'm gonna do is steel with steel cables running between them. Over here, you have the office, which we'll go in here in a little bit. And over here, we have the two bedrooms. Let's go check those out. Coming into this first bedroom, this is actually gonna be my daughter's bedroom, and it has one of my favorite features in the whole house. Check this out. So we open up this closet, and here you have the closet, but then you've got this door that takes you into a hidden room. I'm not quite sure what the point of this hidden room is, but it's kind of cool. You've got uh, lighting in here and electrical, so, you know, it's a functional space. I think what I'm gonna do is build out some sort of cabinet that's gonna be a hidden door that swings out and open. This can almost be like a safe room. You won't know it's here unless you know how to open that door. Then moving over to the other side of the room, you've got this window bench. As you see, it needs some repairs. Okay, coming out of that first bedroom, we come into the upstairs. Door's really squeaky. We come into the upstairs bathroom. It's real just plain Jane in here. This is gonna be another total renovation, total gut job. New countertops, maybe a double mirror. I like, I like the fact that it has the double vanities. You've got the shower room and the toilet over here. I don't know if I'll keep the tub or not. Maybe some new tile. The toilet seems okay. Just making this a nice, comfortable, and bright bathroom. Again, we've got that real kind of orange, yellow light, and we need to brighten the whole space up. And then moving on to that last bedroom of the house, this is gonna be our dedicated guest room. Now there's a lot of updating to do in this room. You've got these brown walls that has this really sandpaper-like texture on them. So we'll have to figure out how to get that texture off or cover it up. And then we got another one of those window benches that overlooks the pool and the creek. Definitely some updating to do in here. Get rid of whatever this cushion is. You've got the storage underneath, so that's really nice. It's not bad, it's just some cosmetic issues in here that we need to update. All right, coming up the other side of the stairs, we have all this built-in cabinetry. We've got a gun cabinet over here. We've got this built-in desk, and that same dated dark stained wood. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do in here yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. But one thing we really wanna do with this room is make it sort of multifunction. So this house only has three bedrooms. So our idea with this room is to make it sort of a 
extra guest room if we need that by building a Murphy bed along that wall. And then on the other side of the office, we have what I like to call the door to nowhere. Now this is actually a sliding glass door that apparently at one point went out to a deck that deck is no longer there. I don't even see any evidence of where it used to be, but there had to have been a deck here, right? They've got it bolted shut so you can't open this and fall to your death. I think I'm gonna build a new deck right here with a spiral staircase, something like that. All right, coming out into the backyard, one of the things I love most about this house is the privacy. We back right up to Bluff Creek. We've got these huge trees. Now, sadly, some of them have to come down because they're dead, but we are right on the creek. Our neighbors on the other side are way over there. And we have a pool and a hot tub. When we were looking for houses, we did not want a pool and we ended up with one. We're gonna make the most of it. There's a lot to learn about pool ownership. There's a lot of updating that needs to happen back here, but we have a pool. Casa Day Builds, is gonna be the place to be this summer. Okay, coming out of the pool area, you've got this side yard and this walkway that takes you down to the creek. We definitely have some work to do in this backyard. Like I said, we've got some dead trees that are gonna be coming out. The grass is not in the best shape, so definitely in the springtime, that'll be a project, but it takes you right down to the creek, which is awesome. Let's go check it out. Okay, walking out of the gate, we've got this little stairway that takes you right down to the creek. Now, some of these other houses, they have really nice terrace yards. As you see, ours is a mess. We just had a big ice storm a couple months back and it brought down a lot of these trees. So I need to get back here with my chainsaw, clear a lot of this out, and then the tree guy will be here in the next week or two to take out some of these trees. And the plan is right now is to lay those trees down along the slope and then use those to kind of backfill and build up this area. But again, we're gonna be living right on the creek. I can only imagine how beautiful it's gonna be whenever we get this all cleaned up. And in the springtime when everything's green, I mean, we've got ducks right over there, Katie. There's ducks right over there. We have our own ducks. It's just really beautiful. A lot of cleanup to do back here though. So I came over today to uh, film a little update of the house and we had a burst pipe. It's super cold right now. It's like four degrees. Already I'm dealing with water in the closet. Check it out. The pipe coming from the meter to there froze and then that pipe that broke and then leaked water all over our floor. Not what you wanna see when you're trying to move into a new house. So this is what we're dealing with. Thankfully, I've got a ton of renovation projects to do. I'm gonna kick this fan on, start drying up some of this water. And uh, I guess one of the first things I'll have to do is uh, put new carpet. So as you see, we got all moved in a week ago and Katie and I got married yesterday. And in other news, we called a plumber, had him out, got that pipe fixed. And I think I was actually able to save the carpet by quickly drying it with those industrial fans. So good news there. The painters have come and gone and with that bright, fresh coat of paint on the walls, the living room and the dining room look amazing. And now I can jump right in and tackle that half bath renovation. Again, make sure you get subscribed to follow along the entire Dream House renovation series where I'm gonna transform this house from that drab 1980s decor to a beautiful rustic modern gym. And I'm sure I'll run into a ton of problems along the way. Okay, thanks for checking this one out and we'll see you back here next time for the Dream House Renovation.